started with the treasure hunt. Kids, do not rush. Read the instructions carefully. Treasure Hunt Zone is the next to go. With CVC words, you must be thorough. Revise your consonants and vowels well, or you will fall under another spell. Let us first quickly revise the consonants and vowels before we move to the Treasure Hunt Zone. Yes, I don't want to get under a spell again. Great. Let's revise before entering the zone. You all know that there are 26 letters of the English alphabet, and each one has a different sound. Yes, we practiced the sounds of each letter when we revised the letters with Crawley the Caterpillar. Absolutely correct. Now, we'll learn how we can group these letters into vowels and consonants based on how we pronounce them. What are vowels and consonants? Vowels are letters whose sound is made by blowing out air from the mouth. These are called vowels. We have five vowels in the English alphabet. A, E, I, O, and U. A vowel sound is produced by a free flow of breath out of the mouth. Why don't you try and speak these letters slowly? A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. Even when we speak these letters out loud, the mouth doesn't close. Yes, our lips and tongue don't touch anything at all when we speak these letters or their sounds. I hadn't noticed that before. B, C, D. And yes, when I speak these letters, my lips or teeth touch each other. This is fun. What are these letters called? These are called consonants. These include all the other remaining letters whose sound is made by the touching of some part of the mouth, lips, tongue, or teeth. A consonant sound is produced by blocking air flowing out of the mouth. When we speak the letter A, our mouth, tongue, teeth, and lips do not move. But when we speak consonants like B, our lips touch each other. F G, H, J, K. L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. That was fun! But Y has a... Y sound. When we say the sound, the mouth doesn't block the air. Yes, the letter Y sometimes acts like a vowel. Y acts like a vowel. How so, Dr. Beaconspear? Well, Y is used as a vowel instead of a long I or a long E. At the end of words like toy, say, fly, busy, or many. It is used as a consonant when it comes at the beginning of words, such as yak, yacht, yellow, or yes. Thank you, Dr. Beaconspear, for letting us know what vowels and consonants are. This was so much fun. I had never realized that our breath and the way it passes out of our mouth creates these beautiful sounds, the vowels and consonants. I will share this with my friends in school. Sure, dear. In fact, if you learn to master the pronunciation of these sounds properly, you will be able to spell them correctly. It will also help you in forming words. We have revised the consonants and vowels well. We should go to play the treasure hunt. Yes, let's go. Crawley is back! 
C, the consonant says K for Crawley. Consonants and vowels, well revised. More surprises await you. Bye for now. Let's apply. Pick out the vowels from the letters given below. A, B, I, D, E, F, Q, R, U, T, O. Pick out the consonants from the letters given below. G, Z, A, J, W, U, D, M, B, O, S, E. You have 30 seconds to answer. The vowels are A, I, E, U, O. The consonants are G, Z, J, W, D, M, B, S, 